OK, we're looking at a website uh, called marinetraffic.com. Now, this website is obviously available um, uh, by accessing a web browser on the PC, but it can also be accessed on mobile phone. Now, the numbers that you can see on this chart of the world are uh, the numbers of vessels in a particular area. And on the whole of this chart or map, there are over 140,000 vessels. And if we zoom in, zoom into a particular area, I'm zooming in on the port of Southampton, and you can see that in this area alone, there are about 354 vessels showing on this particular area of the chart. Now, vessels that are shown with uh, a diamond uh, generally tend to be vessels that are not underway. They are either berthed or uh, at anchor. Um, and vessels that are shown as a kind of a um, a triangular shape are vessels that are underway. So you can see that we've got one here, and this is actually a tug. It tell, the information about this tells us that it's a tug, and we can get other information. We've got a speed, uh, course, and speed. We've got a, a vessel draft, and it tells us that the vessel's underway, and we can get other information if we want to as well. And it's probably um, towing this ship here, which is quite a large ship, a large container ship. Uh, it's probably towing it away from the berth or, put, or maybe um, it's helping it to berth alongside in Southampton. So we've got some other large ships here. And this is a we can see this is a pleasure craft here. There's no picture for it. It's a pleasure craft, and um, just a small sailing vessel. And this is a tug. So we can get quite some detailed information about some of these uh, vessels. But you also notice here that um, uh, we can get sometimes we get some strange information. Uh, so this says it's a, a got a speed and course of 75 knots and a course of 150 so you know we some of this information can be inaccurate or manipulated so there's a security problem with uh, this system this AIS system this relies on VHF and there's no inherent built-in security system but as you can see we we can get a lot of information about these vessels and uh, we can track their progress. This is a, a ferry going to the Isle of Wight. So we can see a lot of information about vessels, whether they're underway, uh, get some information about them. Um, now, th this system is not... The information is available on the internet, but these ships are not connected to the internet. Uh, they're actually transmitting this information using VHF. Um, certain channels in the VHF marine VHF band. Now ships further out to sea are likely to be using satellite communications to transmit this information. So a few of those, fewer of those vessels as we go further out into the Atlantic. This information is also available for uh, Portugal and Lisbon. So we can see there's quite a lot of activity around Lisbon as well. And we have here an oil tanker which is currently um, at anchor, probably waiting to unload its cargo. And we have, looks like it's a ferry here. So, and there's a number of vessels that are, um, uh, are berthed alongside. So, yes, this system, it's not the Internet of Things. These ships are not connected to the Internet, but the information currently is available on the Internet. But, as I say, there's a sec possible security problem here. You know, can we trust the information? Is it possible to hack this information? And obviously, as we get uh, to areas of the world where there, you know, this information can be highly sensitive, where piracy is a problem, then obviously um, we might want to switch this system off altogether.